International maritime transportation is the most important component of China's foreign trade. The entire southern and eastern parts of the country are washed by seas, making China's maritime ports keynotes in global trade and centers for distributing cargo flows across the globe. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that China is now the ruler of the seas, as six out of the world's top ten largest ports are located in China. Today we will talk about the largest and most technologically advanced ports of China. Enjoy watching. Shanghai is the main seaport of China. It holds a favorable geographic position situated between the northern and southern parts of the country. Another advantage of the port is its direct access to the sea. Its primary export-import specialties include oil products, metal products, ores, timber, various equipment, textiles, agricultural products, coal, and fertilizers. The container yard area spans over 9,960,000 square meters while the covered warehouse area exceeds 3,760,000 square meters. Shanghai Port is capable of handling up to 25 million containers annually. Just 20 years ago, it wasn't among the top 20 busiest ports, but today it contends to be one of the world's largest ports. The operator is the Shanghai International Port Group. As of the beginning of 2022, Shanghai Port's throughput capacity exceeded 47 million standard containers, maintaining its position as the world's largest container port for 12 consecutive years. On September 8, 2022, a unified daily and nighttime throughput capacity of Shanghai Port was recorded at 160,058 containers, breaking the historical record set a year ago. Hong Kong is the second largest cargo handling port in China. The managing company Hutchison Port Holdings is the world's largest container operator and owns container terminals in six out of the world's top nine largest ports. The port has 12 berths and is capable of handling about 21 million containers per year. In terms of cargo throughput, Hong Kong's port is rapidly approaching Shanghai's port, which is currently the leader. The mainland and the island, on parts of which Hong Kong's port is located, are connected by ferries. These ferries transport approximately 150 million passengers per year. To facilitate the maritime cargo transportation, the port has a fleet of 15,000 small boats and vessels. The main activity of the port is the container transportation of its own product for export. To a lesser extent, the port carries out passenger transportation and delivery of raw materials. Additionally, the port has its own airfields, near which fuel depots are located. The Hong Kong port is connected to the entire China through the railway network. As in the past, the port of Hong Kong today is one of the main factors in the economic development of the region. The Shenzhen port, situated on mainland China, ranks as the second busiest. International transportations are successfully developed due to the convenient geographical location. The port is located in the southern region of China, Guangdong province, near the delta of the Pearl River and in proximity to major industrial centers. Its main export-import specialties include steel products, grains. It is a major port for corn transshipment, oil, fertilizers, cotton, and timber. The container yard spans over 340,000 square meters, while the covered warehouse area exceeds 57,000 square meters. The port serves as a base for 39 shipping companies and accommodates 131 international container services, as well as 21 feeder routes through which containers from Shenzhen port are delivered along the coastline and through the Pearl River Delta. The port receives about 560 ships per month. The annual cargo turnover of the port exceeds 210 million tons, 15th place in the world. Container turnover is more than 22.57 million TS, 9th place in the world. The port of Ningbo is situated in the city of Ningbo, Zhejiang province. The port is being developed as an alternative to the extremely busy Shanghai port. It is a deep water port, allowing it to accommodate the largest maritime container vessels. In terms of cargo handling volumes, it ranks among China's top four major deep water ports. Its primary export-import specialties include steel products, oil, coal, chemicals, timber, and minerals. The container yard covers an area of over 26,000 square meters, while the covered warehouse area exceeds 46,000 square meters. Dalian is a port that serves as the maritime gateway to Inner Mongolia. Additionally, it is an important transport hub at the crossroads of aquatic freight transport for the eastern, central, and northern regions of mainland China. It is located in Liaoning Province, at the southern tip of the Liaodong Peninsula, and is surrounded by the sea on three sides. Its primary export-import specialties include grains, an animal feed, oil and petroleum products, coal, ores, timber, and lumber. 
The container yard covers an area of over 500,000 square meters, and the covered warehouse area exceeds 200,000 square meters. Guangzhou is the largest port in southern China, located at the mouth of the Pearl River. It was among the first to open for foreign trade activities. The total warehouse area exceeds 170,000 square meters. The port is divided into four production zones specialized in handling general, container, and bulk cargoes. Main cargoes include grains, steel, chemical fertilizers, oil, and automobiles. The port has a total of 4,600 berths and can accommodate vessels with a displacement of over 100,000 tons. Its annual cargo throughput exceeds 472 million tons, ranking fifth global, and container handling reaches 15.3 million TUs. Guangzhou maintains connections with 300 ports in 80 countries worldwide. The operator is the state-owned company Guangzhou Port Group. Tianjin is one of the four centrally administered municipalities in China. It is one of the leaders and driving forces of the Chinese economy. It houses a free trade zone and a zone for technological and economic development. Tianjin Port serves as the primary port in northern China, being the world's largest artificially deepened seaport capable of receiving vessels with a displacement of over 300,000 tons after its dredging. As an open international transit port, Tianjin maintains trade and economic relations with over 180 countries, dispatching goods to nearly 400 global ports. 30 major global maritime cargo and container services pass through Tianjin. The port handles over 800 million tons of various cargoes annually, ranking among the world's top five busiest ports. Besides general goods, its primary cargo flow includes stone, sand, steel products for export. Its annual container throughput exceeds 18 million TUs, with a total warehouse area exceeding 250,000 square meters. The city boasts a major railway junction, facilitating rapid transportation to and from China's interior regions. Macau is a city with a special status, much like Hong Kong. It has its own financial and customs systems. Macau is an autonomous member of the International Monetary Fund and the World Trade Organization. It maintains foreign economic relations with more than 120 countries. For a long time, Macau served as a key maritime port for connecting with Hong Kong. These connections have been further strengthened with the opening of the world's longest sea bridge, linking Macau and Hong Kong. The port of Macau comprises four parts ferry terminal, fishing port, container terminal, inner port. The primary exports from Macau include electronics, textiles, equipment, optical instruments, and tobacco. The main imports to Macau encompass oil, food products, ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Fuzhou is a major transportation, financial, and industrial hub on the shores of the East China Sea. The city boasts a developed timber and food processing industry and is a leader in China's paper production. The port of Fuzhou was among the first 14 Chinese ports to open for foreign trade. Several economic zones operate based on the port. Initially, Fuzhou's primary connections were with Taiwan, but now the port maintains economic ties with North American, European, and South Korean countries. A total of 43 international shipping lines pass through the port. The port ranks among the top 100 global ports by container throughput volume, handling over 1.5 million TUS annually. There is a specialized terminal in the port for automobile reception and shipment. Qingdao is located in Jiaozhou Bay of the Yellow Sea, on the southern tip of the Shandong Peninsula's southern coast. It is the largest port between the Bohai Gulf and the Yangtze River. The port of Qingdao consists of three port complexes, Dagong, Xianwan, and Huandao. The port specializes in handling steel, aluminum oxide fertilizers, coal, metallurgical ores, as well as rice and textile products. Qingdao boasts one of the world's most modern grain reception and processing complexes, along with a significant oil storage facility. The total area of covered warehouses is 57,000 square meters, and the container terminal covers 340,000 square meters. The annual cargo throughput of the Qingdao port exceeds 450 million tons, with a container throughput of over 15.5 million TUs. The port maintains economic ties with 450 ports in 130 countries worldwide. The port of Qingdao is an integral part of China's inland transportation system linked to internal regions by rail and two high-speed expressways. The port hosts a large passenger terminal receiving passenger ferries and cruise ships from South Korea. Write in the comments which port of China impressed you the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you next time.